Hello, the game is Reign of Darkness. Spark again. These damned monsters. Priestess she created it to protect the mold from the darkness. I was browsing Steam today and noticed that this MMO, which I'm always on the lookout for a new MMO, was um, doing a play for free for a couple of days. So I wanted to push this video out quickly just to let my subscribers know about it in case you wanted to give it a try without having to put any money into it. So you can see what they put on their Steam page. Reign of Darkness is still being developed. It's tab target, theory crafting, dungeon runner, uh, online RPG uh, with classic D&D principles and concepts uh, where every attack is a virtual roll of the dice. Players can build or... I don't know what they mean by that. Players can build or... Uh, as far as I've seen, there was no construction in the game. So maybe they're like building... Uh, templates or something but what I think they mean by theory crafting is they seem to be very focused on the skill system so you have um, I'll have to check I think it's eight classes uh, with a small skill tree in each and you can intermingle them so you can make hybrid classes as you see fit however you want to do it um, you know obviously if you're focusing more in one and concentrating you're, you're going to have more power from that one class versus if you spread it out, you're going to have, you know, more abilities, but weaker. Um, so it seems like they're really, they, they want this to be like a build theory crafting game where they're going to focus on the skill set. Dungeon Runner, I'm assuming they're going to have dungeons set up with bosses. You run through the dungeon with a team and, and kill stuff. Um, the loot, like the high-end loot, like the mounts and, and the... Um, the good loot is purchased with tokens that it says you get from bosses. So I'm assuming that you kill the bosses to get the good loot. Uh, downside here is you can also get those tokens directly from a cash shop. So there is pay to win. I would actually consider what's in the cash shop heavy pay to win. But what really intrigued me in this was uh, was it saying that it was based on D&D principles and concepts. That everything, uh, that every attack is a virtual roll of the dice. Um, that's really what kind of drew me in to make me want to try it out because, uh, EverQuest was, uh, built like that. The original foundation when they were developing it was built on basis of, like, rolling the dice in a D&D game. And that's what gave EverQuest a lot of its randomness, whether you would miss a, a, a strike and whiff or whether your spell would get resisted and the mob comes after you and crits. It was all so random and it made the game feel very, um very alive so i was very interested to see how they implemented that and that's what kind of pulled me in a little bit if you want to take an in-depth look at the classes and the skills and ability each class has at the end of the video i'll just let it play out where i'm mouse overing all of the classes and every ability they have so you can see the details of it i do it for about one second each that way you can pause the video and read the description go to the next one pause the video read the description you can skip around to whatever class you want. I'll leave that to end because that's gonna that's gonna be like five or six minutes of just me mousing over. So that's horrible content in the beginning of a video. When you start the game, you're gonna run into bugs immediately. And this is very unfortunate because when you're doing a demo and one of the first things a player experiences is bugs, it's pretty frustrating. Uh, but you, just giving you a heads up, if you try this game out, you're going to find these same bugs. Like these scorpions not responding or just staying still and you can't kill them for the quest. Uh, people are reporting that uh, you got to hit a dummy five times, like a little training thing to make sure you understand how skills work. That wasn't working. Um, I found some rather glaring bugs that I don't want to describe because they're a little exploitive. Like I was able to actually get to a higher tier uh, ability than I should have been able to get to. Um, and I, ha I haven't been able to repeat that because I blew all my money doing it by accident, which actually upset me. I was like, now nah, I have no money left to reset my skills, but, um, I'll test that out later and report it to the developers. But just so you know, there's bugs in the game. You're going to run into them. The game feels very, very early access, not, not even early access. Um, this game should be more deemed as pre-alpha. So far, pay to win buggy pre-alpha why are you even making this video 
Well, because I think the game has a uh, potential. Uh, the community in it that was supporting it uh, was nice and helpful. Um, the game feels good. Uh, the combat. Um, some of the grouping aspects felt good, so I think the game has potential. Um, is it like vaporware and the developers just trying to grab money and they're going to disappear? You know, who can ever tell that? But it feels like they have a lot of effort into it. Um, it feels like what they're saying uh, is accurate. It feels like they're a small team and they got this far and they, they want to grow it and they need more developers, they need more money. So it feels like that. Will it succeed? Will it fail? Who knows? But it, I, I had a fun time playing it. Um, you know, the combat felt good. I was running around doing quests. I was exploring. There's a lot of features that aren't in the game yet that I felt should have been in the game. Uh, and maybe they will become part of the game. But uh, I think it has potential. It inspired me enough to make a video, uh, which is not happening a lot lately, uh, especially with MMOs. I was just exploring, and this graveyard here looks like the graveyard from the intro video. So I was just kind of taking a look at that. The mounts cost like 50 gold, and the most I've had so far was like 2 gold, and I blew all my money. But uh, somebody, I guess somebody who's been playing the game for a while, had lots of money, was giving away some free mounts, and they gave me one. So I appreciated that. Helped me go around and explore a little bit. I think the mapping system could use a little work, uh, definitely. It's just a, a camera view, so it's basically a live map with a camera way above you. So you can actually, if, you, if you're if you fighting, you can actually see your spell effects on the map. Um, if you tab target, you can see the ring on the feet of the monster being highlighted. So you can actually see, it's kind of cool actually, because you can see where they're at on the map. So just exploring, I came across these players here. Um, they looked like they were grouped up, but I don't think they were. I think they were just helping this guy out because he's fighting a level 17 hex team and he's level 19. And these other guys are kind of low level, so I think they were just kind of like healing him and trying to do whatever damage they could. But I was looking at the spell effects. I thought the spell effects looked pretty cool. I think the lightning was from the shaman. Um, it looks like one of them's a healer. Maybe that's the shaman. I'm not sure. Um, but, uh, yeah, it looks like they just ran off. I think maybe the two lower level guys were teamed up and they just kind of were helping out the higher level guy. Um, but he, he takes on his war, watch us. His healer misses a heal because he's over there goofing off and he starts getting torn up. But, uh, watch, watch when he dies. The boar kills him and the healer's like, oh, just misses him with the heal spell. See? <laughs> I thought that was funny. It was like, that's my nightmare as a healer, like. Uh, back when I used to play EverQuest, I tried to heal her out and drop a nose complete heal bombs on people and just miss him by a second or two trying to be super efficient. Um, used to drive me nuts. But I thought that was funny. I don't know if you can see the chat window very well in my video, but uh, one of the higher level guys I was asking him about Endgame, and he was like, the Endgame's a work in progress, but you'll spend plenty of time trying out builds. And I again, I think that's the kind of thing that they're going for here is just Trying out different builds and play styles and theory crafting uh, is kind of what their goal is going to be. So here I'm just going to put in some footage of me actually fighting. Um, so I was using, I forget what it was called, I think it's called the uh, Wrath, which is like a Shadow Knight kind of. And I switched over to um, like a Mage, Lizard, I forget what the, they call it. Um, but as you can see the spell effects are pretty decent. Um, you know, I pumped my stats up, so I was pretty powerful. I was I was also over-leveled for fighting these guys. This is one of the starter quests coming down here. I had a hard time finding out where this was. Another one of my complaints about the design was it doesn't flow very well. I like an open world. I like to be able to explore, but I also expect some kind of flow progression uh, in, a, in a zone to travel naturally down to where this area is where I was fighting these uh, uh, these monsters. Um, you kind of had to go around through higher level mobs and I was getting slaughtered. Um, and it was only until I got a mount that I was able to traverse through them safely. Uh, and then I found out you could kind of jump off the cliff. Um, but here's the map. See me tab? Did you see where I was tab targeting? Um, I was opening the map and tab targeting so I could see on the map because it's a live 
map feed where the next monster was. Which, you know, I, I think the map needs work, but I kind of like that, actually. Um, let me see what was around me. The melee and archery system in this game is automatic. I'm not sure how I feel about that. So when you start attacking, you'll automatically start shooting your bow. And it's depleting your arrows. So I really don't like that. I never actually liked having an arrow count. I always felt like you should have an arrow. You can upgrade it like a piece of equipment, but it doesn't run out. You don't have a count. You don't have to stop. Them. That's my personal design opinion. But um, not sure how I feel about it automatically using my arrows. I do like that when they come up, you automatically swing your sword at them. Um, and that way, it's kind of like uh, auto attack in EverQuest, where you have your base DPS is your melee damage, and then your abilities kind of supplement that. Um, abilities suck up a lot of mana. Um, so that's one thing I thought was pretty interesting. Uh, it looks like wizards or whatever you, whatever class this is, they have a huge mana regen. So if you watch it, I'll pop it on myself after I shoot that spell. I'll pop it on myself. See how my mana went up instantly? One tick of that regen filled my bar up completely. So I think um, they're going to be like a mana healing class. And then you'll have clerics and shamans who will be like a hit point healing class. And then you'll have people who are focused on more, uh, you know, doing damage. So I, I thought that was pretty interesting. I don't know if that's that was their intent. Like I said, I only got a couple hours into this game and playing it. So, um, you know, these opinions or thoughts I have could be completely inaccurate. Please keep that in mind. Um, if the game does look interesting to you, I would suggest trying it out. You got two days to play it without having to invest a penny into it. So um, that's kind of why I'm rushing this video out. And um, I, I was playing it. I was like, this is interesting. This is, this is inspiring me to make a video. Uh, I think my subscribers would want to know that this is out there for a limited time to try out. So that's kind of why I'm putting this video out real quick. Hopefully it doesn't take forever to upload and then you guys only get a day notice. But um, yeah, just wanted to get the word out. It seemed like a pretty interesting game. And just a friendly heads up, the whole area is surrounded by a force field that will instantly kill you uh, if you try to cross it without any warning. I'm not sure if this is like a current limitation for all players or just because I'm a new player and I have to do like a quest or beat something before I can gain access. But yeah, I died a lot. So speaking of me dying a lot, um, let's get into PvP. Um, so I came across this little cool looking bridge and you can see the barrier back there. If you cross that barrier is where you die and that fog you kind of go into. But anyway, um, I came up to this tower and I was like, oh, what's this? Uh, what it is, it took me a little bit to figure it out, was you teleport into a PvP area. It's like a town. Um, it's incomplete, it's unfinished, but this is full PvP in here. I'm not sure what the PvP rules are of this area. Uh, Frosthorn is what it's called. But the whole town here is incomplete. You can run around it, there's no NPCs. Um, but it is PvP, and how I found that out was a gentleman showed it to me. Now, I'll tell you why I feel good about this fight. I didn't know this was PvP. Uh, I was taken off guard. Uh, I was level 4, he was level 10, and I almost got him. So, I feel pretty good about that. Excuses, excuses, excuses. I'm not sure of the PvP rules, but the one thing that will need to be fixed or changed is if this guy wanted to, he could have spawn camped me and there would have been nothing that I would have been able to do about it. Because when I respawn, it respawns me right at my corpse. All he's got to do is hit me one time and I drop. He could have just sat there and whacked me down and laughed at me the whole time. And I wouldn't have been able to do anything about it except for all F4 out of there. And even then, I don't know if I would have came back into the same spot and he could have just sat there and waited for me. So that's something that definitely needs to be uh, taken care of. You need to be able to respawn in a safe area or at least a safer area away from him.
What a true gentleman. I take it all back. All right, where does the time go? The video is getting rather lengthy, so I think at this point I'll just put in the uh, class information and spell information. I'm going to mouse over it. That way you can pause the video and read the in-depth description of all the spells and abilities. Um, if you have enjoyed this video or found any part of it helpful or, you know, appreciate being notified of things like this, um, please give me a thumbs up. It helps support the channel when you click that like button. Um, lets people know on YouTube that this is a worthwhile video to watch. Uh, if you are not a subscriber, please feel free to do so. You're welcome to become a subscriber. And I will see everybody in the next video.